Hello friends. Today I am here to discuss some important questions from the chapter life processes which are based on lecture 1 and lecture 2 that is the nutrition part. So in case you have not watched those lectures, please watch those lectures and then try to attempt these answers because these answers and these questions that I have framed are not from NCRT. Most of these are previous year questions that have been asked previously in the board exams. So you must know the answers to these and these are indirect questions based on concept and understanding. So these questions will help you prepare thoroughly nicely for your board exams. So let's get started. Once again for your reference these questions are based on lecture 1 and lecture 2 of the live uh, sessions that we had on the chapter life processes. The lectures have been uploaded and in case you have not watched those lectures please watch them so that you are able to answer all these questions. I will be taking up one one question at a time and I will be discussing in brief. For detail you will refer to the lectures that I am mentioning uh, again and again. So first question is what are the differences between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition? Autotrophic nutrition you must know that it, uh, autotrophic nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which organisms they make their food from inorganic material whereas in heterotrophic nutrition they make their food from organic uh, they depend on other organisms for their food. You can also tell what are the various types in autotrophic nutrition there are no further subtypes whereas in heterotrophic nutrition there are three further subtypes for which you can refer to lecture one. The third point of difference will be the examples. You will quote examples for autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition. So there can be three points in this answer. The second question is what is the role of saliva in the digestion of food? Saliva is a enzyme that is secreted by the in, uh, glands that are present in our mouth, the salivary glands. Saliva has two functions. Basically it moistens the food so that it can be chewed easily. And the second is it contains an enzyme salivary amylase. So you have to explain both the functions in detail for this answer. The next is give two differences between holozoic and saprophytic mode of nutrition. This has been discussed in detail again in lecture number one. Holozoic nutrition, the mode of nutrition in which an organism takes in complex food and then breaks it down inside the body. And in saprophytic nutrition, an organism is taking in digested food from outside. So this is the major difference. You will have to write at least three points of difference between these two. Refer to lecture one again for this answer. Which organ secretes a hormone when the blood sugar level rises? The answer is pancreas and you have to name a digestive enzyme also which is secreted by this organ. You should be knowing the answer. Yes, the enzyme is I, there are three enzymes which are secreted by pancreas. You can mention any one. It can be trypsin, it can be pancreatic amylase or it can be pancreatic lipase. Any one of the three can be mentioned here along with the function. Then coming to question number five. What is common among these? Glycogen and starch. Glycogen is the material or the uh, when extra food or extra energy is uh, present in the body it gets stored in the form of glycogen in animals whereas in plants it gets stored in the form of starch. So glycogen is basically found in animals whereas starch is found in plants. Then chlorophyll and hemoglobin. Chlorophyll is a plant pigment whereas hemoglobin is an animal pigment. Chlorophyll plays a role in photosynthesis. Hemoglobin plays a role in respiration by transporting oxygen. These are the differences. Uh, uh, these are the differences that I am telling you. Now, what your question is, what is common? So, please be very careful when you get such tricky questions. You don't have to tell the differences. You have to tell what is common. Now, common between starch and glycogen is that both of them help in storing the reserve food. One in plants and one in animals. That is different. But both of them are storing the reserve food material and chlorophyll and hemoglobin both of them are pigments. So pigments is the common thing and what their function is that is the difference among them. So answer according to what has been asked. Common has been asked so you will be telling the common point. Why is small intestine in herbivores longer than in carnivores? 
we all know that herbivores they eat cellulose and they are able to digest cellulose also so that is why because the digestion of cellulose takes a longer time as compared to cooked food which is without cellulose so that is why the small intestine in herbivores is comparatively longer as compared to carnivores the mechanism of photosynthesis was explained in detail in lecture number 1 so you'll refer to over there and the eighth question how much explain how does digestion take place in amoeba this was again discussed in lecture number 2 along with diagram and along with the various steps so for this answer you'll be referring to lecture number 2 in addition to this there are some important diagrams diagram of human digestive system plus the diagram of open and closed stomata which you must practice so i expect all of you to solve these questions in your notebooks so that your chapter of nutrition or that portion of nutrition is complete i'll be coming up with more such short videos based on the remaining part of the chapter in which i'll be asking you some questions so keep watching keep sharing and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the content